hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix uh, <clears throat> stray error such as uh, low level fatal error <clears throat> ue4 hk project game has crashed error as well as black screen on your pc when you're trying to play stray on your steam and how we can completely fix this up so as you can see the stray is right now it's one of the most released anticipated game which is right now getting so much overwhelming uh, positive response so far so we're going to talk about how we can try this out and how we can sort this out we can try this method for all these errors and that will be guys uh, fixing that that will be helping guys out so let's get into the topic so the first one is all about you have to restart your pc when you're having any one of these errors, the best base basic step which you have to try out is you just have to go over here just do a restart and after trying restart you have to try to go back to the steam and try to launch the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed this is just a very basic one i'm not saying this is gonna work but this is just a basic one so after try this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to go over here in the store i mean sorry i mean in your steam and you just have to go to the library so here as you can see I haven't purchased the game because I tried a couple of times and uh, there is some kind of issue with my credit card as well as my debit card. So I think there is some issue. So I have to take support from the bank. So uh, it is too early morning. So they haven't called me back. Maybe they call in the official hours. So I'll be showing you the steps. You don't have to worry. Just follow these instructions. So when you download the game, the game will be available here. As you can see right now, I'm having Halo Infinite, Forza, Horizon 5, Farming Simulator, Crab Game, Brawl Halla, etc. The game will be here when you download it. So what you have, just have to right click on the respective game. I mean, you have to right click on the tray and go to properties. And as you can see here un under the launch option, we are having the options like this. We will be under the launch options. It will be blank. So here you have to give the command that is which I'll be giving in the description. These those commands are minus B three D. Sorry, you have to give this is one command. OK, you have to give this is one command and one command is you have to close this, try to launch the game and it might work. So if it's not working with this one, D minus D three D two, if it's not working, then we just have to go to the next one. Next one is minus D X. Two, you have to uh, close this and you have to launch the game and you have to see if it's not working just go for one more we have one more method that is minus dx12 okay so sorry uh, it should be a uh, uh, small letter one two okay when you give this you just have to close this and you have to give the game I mean you just have to go for it and sometimes this used to work right so uh, maybe after giving this command on the launch, launch option this has to be worked and if it's not working you don't have to worry we have to go for next one so next one is all about you have to uh, install uh, the uh, graphics uh, graphics card on your pc manually that uh, you just have to go to the official link so uh, over here i have given the link which is for uh, nvidia and as you can see this is for amd so if it is your AMD, uh, sorry, if it is NVIDIA, you have to uh, give the details over here regarding all your product details and start and download the type and install it manually. Simultaneously, if it is, uh, I mean, AMD Radeon, which is minus AMD. So what I have to do, I just have to go to this official website and here I have to select graphics card and I have to select which one is mine. I have to select it from here and you have to submit it so that I'll be able to download it and install it manually so that you just have to update your, which means you have to installing the graphics card for both nvidia and amd depends on it which one, which one is yours you have to install it manually and most probably this has to be fixed right and even after trying this you have to see whether you are able to fix is the issue or not even after trying this if it's not working you don't have to worry we have parallel solution so next one is all about you have to run the game which is on dedicated graphics card so for that you just have to go over here and you have to search for graphics setting as you can see you just have to open this one when you open this one as you can see these are the two games which i have already installed in my steam they are already added here for the high performance which means to run it on the best graphics card so what you have to do you just have to click on the browse and you have to navigate to where the game is installed for example if the stray is installed on local disk c you just have to go for local disk c then go for steam steam apps common 
and you can find the game and you just have to select the stray folder so that it will be added over here okay as i said earlier just note this on i have been purchased the game due to some issues on my card so when you add the game it will be available here now what do you have to do is you just have to click on the game stray game you have to click on the game i'm showing you with an example don't get confused so click on the game so here you'll be having an option like this click on this particular button and now you have to set this basically this will be either on let's windows decide you have to change this to high performance and go for save simultaneously if you select this one so i have set both into high performance go for save once you're done with this one close this and go back to the steam and try to play the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed even after trying this if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about verify integrity of game files as i said earlier sometimes due to some corrupted files this particular issue regarding black screen regarding fatal error and all this can happen in between so the next is how to fix this one so by you just have to do is you just have to go to the game select stray game on your steam select the game and you just have to go to properties and from here there will be an option called local file select this one go for verify integrity of game file so this will take a little bit of time so here what happens is actually this is going to help you guys out so what happens is if any files are corrupted by default or some for any other reasons this will be fixed from here itself so that after this you can go ahead and there will be not kind of any issue so i request you have to try this and this is quite important not only for crashing not only for black screen but this is like a recommended steps to use in, in when you are having some trouble when your game is not working good or you can try this out for the, those who purchase it from the steam okay so this will take a little bit of time so i'll cancel this you have to wait for the complete one and once it is done you just have to go for next one next one is all about you have to disable the steam overlay so if you ask me the question on how to disable steam overlay so you have to select the uh, game over here you just have to open your steam like this uh, go over here and go to properties and over here as you can see i have uh, enabled the enable the steam overlay option while in game is disabled here so i done this from my side so if it is ticked i mean if it is checked you just have to untick which means you have to disable it once disabling with this for the stray game you have to after disabling try to launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed okay and this is also quite important you can fix this up so moving to the next one is all about the next question is all about you have to do a very basic step which is all about update your windows sometimes by updating windows a very basic step that can fix the issue so just go to settings go for windows update and what you have to do is just have to check any kind of updates are there as you can see i have to check if any updates are there just update it and most probably by updating this has to be fixed because of some bugs this can happen in between that is also very important and also parallelly i would like to add you guys that if it is uh, as a step if anything is connected for example uh, if uh, multiple monitors are connected or if you are connected with uh, any if, if for example joystick and all those things you have to unplug it everything you have to unplug it okay once after unplug unplugging everything you just have to go back to the steam and try to launch the game and then later you have to connect if the game is completely working good you can connect later but because i don't know what is happening or why this method works but unplugging the devices like external devices like whatever connected in the usb if you completely turn it down this used to happen in between so this is very uh, important that you can try this out so that is what you have to do and the last and the least one which i would like to give you guys is what you have to do is you just have to uh, go for uh, microsoft visual c++ the last step is all about you have to go over here in the microsoft visual c++ redistributable here as you can see there are two options for 86 and 64 download the which one is respective you have to download it and install it so here i have already downloaded and installed it so i'm not uh, i'm not doing it again so here you can download it and install it and these are the basic step which you have to try out when you're having this particular error and also you can uh, refer our website get through tips because uh, we have updated many more articles on this tray we can find it from here we can uh, uh, read the articles based on uh, crashing uh, audio issues controller is not working black screen everything from our website get through tips so i'll provide link in the description where you can go to this and these are the basics which you have to try out when you're having this particular error and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video Peace out.